guys welcome back it's vlogmas day number 12 it's the last one i do want to say yes i've been wearing this in the past three videos don't ask questions it doesn't really matter it's a good sweater my friend anna thrifted it and then she embroidered it for a graduation gift but anyways we're gonna be talking about my 23 favorite books of 2023 obviously we're gonna end out vlogmas with this video really excited because i feel like i had a really good reading year at the end of the month i'll probably do a reading wrap up so all my stats and things like that so if you're wanting to look at like how many books i ended up reading what my favorite were what genres whatever whatever um stay tuned because that'll be coming probably either the 30th or the 31st of december but anyways we're just gonna really briefly go through all of the 23 books that i have listed i have a lot here i think all of these are either four or five stars which is great um obviously if they're my favorite books they're gonna be highly rated but yeah we're just gonna we're just gonna hop in with it or hop into it i will say this is not in any particular order i was just going through my goodreads and as i saw books i just added them to the list so this is again not in any particular order um so the first book i have is cleopatra and frankenstein by coco mellers this book was so good i actually got this book while i was in the uk i'm pretty sure and this year I was trying to get through a lot of the books that I bought because that was in 2022 that I bought those and so definitely I've been trying to read them and I absolutely love this one. It's a literary fiction and I will say it's a little, it's not like Emily Henry literary fiction, it's a little different than that um, but I really enjoyed it. I could not stop reading it. I thought um, Coco Mellers wrote very beautifully and I thought the main character uh, Cleopatra was so interesting and her and Frankenstein or Frank's um, relationship was so, his name wasn't Frankenstein, it was just Frank, but I think Cleo maybe called him Frankenstein. I, I can't remember, but anyways, I thought their relationship was so interesting to explore and I definitely recommend that. I have The Notebook. This is the second book I've read from Nicholas Sparks, I'm pretty sure. And obviously I love the movie. It's such, such a such a sweet movie and it was such a great book i ended up reading the book five stars i do since i read or since i watched the movie first i just have like a special place in my heart for the movie and obviously the book was a little bit different than the movie that's not saying like i like the movie more than the book it's just i'm more familiar with the movie um but yeah the notebook was really really good i loved seeing um i loved hearing more information that obviously wasn't in the movie and it's just that's probably one of my favorite sparks um movies slash books the longest ride is my all-time favorite though i haven't read it just watched it okay. then we have the secret life of bees i'm actually forgetting who this is by i think it was like sue something um but this book i had never even heard of it but i read this to give to my friend did i just kidding <laughs> I give to my friend Grace because this is her favorite book and it was so good. It almost had me like choking up at moments. So definitely recommend that one. It is about, it's kind of like the help in a way, um, in the sense of like a white character is kind of enriched into black culture and it was very, very interesting. Then I have Atonement. Oh my gosh, guys, this is one of my favorite movies and I finally read the book last spring and goodness gracious this book was fantastic he the way he wrote was just so beautiful like i think it was ian oh i'm forgetting his last name ian something mcgowan or something like that wrote this and he is just a phenomenal writer the way that he just he transported me into the scenes and i just it was beautiful and I highly recommend this we have the stolen air which this is by holly black this is it is the it's a duology that is in the same universe as the King of Elfame. I guess it's in the same universe of that series. So Cruel Prince, if you guys know what that is. But this one is about Oak, which he was a child in the original trilogy. And then here he's like 17 or 18 maybe. I can't remember. I know he's definitely a young adult because it's a YA novel or it's catered towards YA. But oh my gosh, this book was so good. I love, I love this series so much. I definitely want to read more Holly Black. But um, I, yeah, I'm so excited for the second, the second um, 
the second book that comes out in 2024. Offer by Lauren Asher. I rated this one five stars. This one was definitely my favorite out of the Dreamland Billionaire series, the three books. I just loved, I loved the main character. I loved the small town vibes. I loved the second chance romance. Everything about it, it was just so good. Then we have Done and Dusted, the first of our cowboy romances or small town romances, I should say. And this is by Lila Sage, I think. Um, I think this is by Lila Sage. And it was just so, it was so good. It was so cute and I love, I love it. Next is Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams. This is the second book in the um, When in Rome like series and I really I like this one way more than When in Rome. I loved the fake dating aspect. It was very good. I liked it a lot and yeah very very good. Then this one is a new one of my favorites. It's called Love Holly by Emily Stone. I have mentioned her and this book in several videos at this point but this is my all-time favorite from her. It was just so good. I rated it five stars. Perfect for the holiday, perfect for the winter time. 100% recommend it. Through a poetry book on here and that is Welta by Lourdes Figueroa. I recommend this to everyone. It's like, I don't know, it's like 40 pages. No, maybe it's 60. It's 60 pages. It's only three poems. It's it's amazing. 100% recommend. More people need to know about this book. Then we have Fourth Wing. Big surprise here. Fourth Wing was so good in my opinion. I loved it. I did not like Iron Flame as much as I liked Fourth Wing, so I didn't put Iron Flame on here. But Fourth Wing was like everything to me. I need more in this series immediately. Read Magnolia Parks this year and only the red or I've only read the first book and I loved it. I rated it five stars surprisingly. I wasn't expecting that especially with how it's written. I will say that's just like not normally the style that I would like because it was breaking the fourth wall a lot and it felt a little weird to me at times um but I ended up really really enjoying it and I think it like broke my heart. I have a uh, I had the memory of like, I felt like my heart crack a little bit at the end of that. So I definitely will be finishing this series. But anyways, actually a reread and that is Normal People by Sally Rooney. I love Sally Rooney. I love Conversations with Friends, Beautiful World, Where Are You, Mr. Salary. Have loved all of those. I started with Normal People a couple years ago, I think. And I ended up rating it at three stars, but rereading it, five stars immediately. I just think when I read it for the first time, I wasn't, I couldn't comprehend what she was trying to do. Whereas this time I was like, oh, okay, so we're doing this. We're talking about this. And it was phenomenal. Honestly, this is probably like a six star read because this is so good. And I recommend anyone that, I don't know, I recommend it. I actually took a test if um, I was Marion or Connell and I got Connell. I don't know what that says about me. So let me know if you know what that means. I think I know what it means, but you know, I'm not, sure. I'm not for sure. Divine Rivals by Re Rebecca Ross. I also rated this one five stars. I think I may have rated it four stars, but this one was so good. It was a concept that I had never heard of, or at least I don't remember hearing of this. And it was these magical typewriters. This is a historical fiction but also a romance and also a fantasy and it was during a war which usually I don't like books like that but this one was so good. I loved Iris. I um, loved the the love interest and yeah 100% recommend that one as well. Probably stop saying that because all of these books I recommend because obviously they're my top 23 so I'll try to stop saying that and yeah we'll see if that if we can actually do that. Nine left and the first one on that nine is Jasper Vale by Devney Perry. I actually really enjoyed the entire series but if I had to pick my favorite I believe it was Jasper Vale. Um, it, in my review I think I wrote any character named Jasper is just elite. I don't know what it is about that name but if an author chooses the name Jasper I'm gonna love them like they're gonna show out and he did. He really did. Of course we had to have an Allie Hazelwood book and that was Love Theoretically which was her new release in 2023. Love this book. It was so so good. I think it may have been my favorite Allie Hazelwood book. I don't want to say that and be wrong but I'm pretty sure this has been my favorite. Recommend it. It has a slight twist on it which I feel like I had never read. Um, so yeah again loved it. 
This one's gonna be shocking. This is actually science fiction and it is Red Rising I by Pierce Brown. I don't know how this is on this list. Personally, I am not a sci-fi girl, but this book was something else. It was really, it was really good. I highly recommend it. Um, I love Daro and Mustang and I guessed, oh wait, you don't, you don't know the plot twist until the second book, which the second book is not on this list, but read that. Read it, read it, read it, read it. Next is Heartless by Elsie Silver. This book was so good. Again, I love this entire series, but something about this book in particular, so good. I think it was because it was the single dad trope and the nanny trope. It was just, it was just so good. I can't remember their names. I think it was Cade was the dad's name. Can't remember the girl's name, but trust this book will be reread eventually. At some point in time, I will be rereading this. I promise. We have two books, so um, I counted them as like two separate books, but they are a part of the series, and that is House of Earth and Blood, the first book. I read this one so, so quick. It was so great, five stars. And then obviously we have House of Sky and Breath. I will say, this book took me a while to get through, but once I finished it, oh wow, oh wow. Actually, the Blogmas or Bookmas, the the one before this, Bookmas 11, actually has my reaction of finishing that book changed my world. I cannot wait until February 1st when I get my copy of House of Flame and Shadow. I think that's what it's called. Like that, I'm not ready for it. I am not. I, like I'm, I'm actually terrified if I'm being honest. If you want a reading vlog, let me know. And with the series, I have another two books that I read that are amazing and that is Once Upon a Broken Heart. You guys know I loved Carval. I, I considered putting that trilogy on here but I decided not to. Just know, I also love that series so much. I think, I think Finale is probably my favorite. I really liked Carnival, but I think Legendary and Finale are a little bit better in my, in my head. But anyways, um, in Legendary, we meet Jax, and then this one follows him, and he is my, he's my favorite character. That's, that's like all I'm gonna say. Like, he's, he's amazing. Um... And anyways, Once Upon a Broken Heart was so good, but boy did Ballad of Never After throw it out of the park. This book is probably one of my favorite. Like, if I had to pick top three, I think this one would be in my top three because this was so freaking good. Are you kidding me? And I'm sad to say that the third book is not on this list, unfortunately, but Ballad of Never After stays elite. I promise you. I promise you. This book we have is actually Happy Place by Emily Henry. What a good way to end because that book is my favorite Emily Henry book. It deals with two, like, two, there, it's a boyfriend or girlfriend. Wynn and Harper? That's not her name. Gosh, I'm being really bad at remembering names today, so sorry, I usually am good at it. But it's about Harp. is it Harper Wynn? I don't think it is, but I know it's Wynn for sure. They have been dating for forever, they break up, they don't tell their friends, and then they have to like pretend date. And I read this when I was going through a breakup, um, and boy did it hurt, but it was so so good and I 100% recommend it because it is the best Emily Henry book in my, my personal opinion. Those are my top 23 books, let me know if any of these were on your top 23, I'm really interested to know. And yeah, that's the end of Bookmas, I have a few more videos planned for the rest of the month. So keep an eye out for those and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Peace and love. Bye guys.